let's see. A photo of a llama. I'm happy to provide you with an imaginary llama picture. No, I want a photo. <laughs> so this brings us to the problem here with Olama and running this chat GPT like experience called Open Web UI. While it's great for text prompts, it doesn't do image generation by default. And a lot of you, including members of the channel have been asking for such a tutorial. And while researching this, there's a couple of gotchas that I came across that I want to show you. First of all, Web UI itself. If you forget your login, how do you get back in? You can create a new account, but then the admin, the first user has to approve you. Well, here's how you do it. You go back to the project, and this is all the code I showed you last time, all right? So I'm just gonna kick things off from here, assuming you already have this and you follow the steps. I'll link that video down below. Go to backend, go to data, and then there's this web UI DB. Delete that file, move to trash. And when you restart, there's no more accounts in there. You can sign up freely for a new account. And this time I'm gonna remember my details. Maybe. Let's get to image generation. By far the most popular open source image generation tool out there is Stable Diffusion and Automatic 11.11 provides a nice user interface for that. I'm gonna show you the user interface, but we're not gonna really use it. So clone this repository and the link for this repo is down below. Git clone and let's pop this open in VS Code to have a look at what's going on. Control backtick for terminal because I'm gonna be running it from here. Now this is a Python project, so it has requirements. I'm on a Mac, but this will work on Windows or Linux as well. It has the batch file, it has the shell script. First things first, we need to install the requirements. And I usually do this in a separate environment called Conda environment. I have a video on how to create a Conda environment. I'll link to that down below as well. So Conda create dash dash name, and I'm gonna call this A1111 for short. Python equals 311, yes, to accept all of the defaults. And now to get into that environment, you use this, conda activate A1111, boom. Now I have A1111 written right here, which means I'm inside the environment. This is where I'm going to install my requirements. By the way, the Python version is 3.11. Good, so to install the requirements, it's pip install dash r, because we're using the requirements file. We pass in requirements.txt and dash u for upgrade. I like to include that flag in case there's any changes in the requirements versions. Boom, I'm not gonna do all the booms this time around, okay? I might say boom, but I'm not gonna. And it finished installation. Let's try running it. WebUI.sh. This is not how we're going to run it eventually, but just to give you an idea of what happens here. When you run this, it's going to download a bunch of stuff, including a default uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5 model. Models are gonna be important because, well, depending on what kind of images you wanna generate, you're gonna use different models, perhaps. And I'm gonna show you that too. Just a heads up, the first model is gonna download is gonna be pretty large, 3.97 gigabytes. Depending on your internet speed, it might be slow, it might be fast, I don't know. This will automatically launch a browser. If it doesn't, just go to this URL right here. It's localhost, port 7860 is the default, and you get this UI. It's crazy, this thing does so much stuff. Text to image, image to image, extras, PNG info, all this extra stuff, you need to really dig in there and learn it, but we're not gonna do any of this. Leave it running, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to Open Web UI, I'm gonna go to Alex Settings, Images, and then here is gonna be the automatic 11.11 base URL. Now, this is not gonna work, I'm gonna show you why. And the base URL, See, it kind of knows already for automatic 11.11 what the default is. So I'm just gonna paste that in, the URL, including the port, paste, and click this button. Oh, something went wrong? Oh, well, this is because when you're launching automatic 11 web UI, you need to specify that you want the API to be available. It's probably a security feature. So here's what we're gonna do in New York City. Go back to stable diffusion web UI. I don't know, do I sound like, I don't know. And instead of just launching webui.sh, we're gonna do dash dash API, enter. Now it's going to relaunch it with the API flag, which means the API is now going to be available. So go back to open web UI, just do a refresh. Um, settings, images, automatic 11.11, base URL, refresh this, and look, server connection verified. Now, there's one more step, image generation experimental, turn that on. Here's where you can select the default model. We only have one model, that's the default one, the one that was downloaded automatically. Set image size. Don't mess with this until you know a little bit more about Automatic 11.11 and the specific models you're working with. Let's save this. Now, how do we use this? Well, go up here to select the model, and I showed you this last time. Select, let's do Llama 3. 
a photo of a um, llama. Here's a random photo of a llama. What happened to my photo? Where's my photo? Well, the way this works is you first need to generate a prompt, which is gonna be this. And then you have a little button here. It's a new button called generate image. This new button appeared there after you created that setting. So let's click that button. And after a little while, after a little while, after a while, okay, while I was doing it, I might as well show you something interesting. GPU history. So this is actually using the GPU on Apple Silicon, which is good. It's not running on the CPU. And there's our llama. Um, it's one weird llama. How about um, photo of a lion? And then finally photo of Schwarzenegger. Wow. These images are okay. They're not the greatest. Certainly you probably use Mid Journey or Dolly 3 instead of this for the quality of the images. But how do you get better images? Go to civitai.com and this has a ton of models, just people uploading a bunch. There's some weird stuff on here, like Keanu Reeves Legos. I don't know, maybe you're into that. There's also a ton of uncensored models here as well. So be careful if you're at work. You shouldn't be doing this at work anyway. One other tip, when you're searching for models, you can go to models, then there's the different styles. And some of these are really good. Like if you wanna generate realistic looking photos, this one's pretty good, Juggernaut XL. You go to filters and there's ways to use some of these with automatic 1111, but that's too much for this tutorial. The easiest thing to do to get started is select checkpoint and nothing else. That's the one we want, checkpoint. I found this one, Wildlife X Animals. Since we're generating some animals, let's see if we can get some better pictures of animals generated. So you can click on this download button. You gotta be logged in for some of these. But down here, you can also go to files and maybe you don't need the entire model. There's the full model and then there's the pruned model. I'm going to download the pruned model because it's smaller. It's a safe tensors type of file. Here's my wildlife animal safe tensors file. It's just over two gigabytes. Copy that and then head over to where you downloaded your stable Diffusion Web UI from GitHub. This has a models folder and inside the models folder, there's a stable diffusions folder. And it says right there, put stable diffusion checkpoints here. There's already one there. That's the default one that was downloaded. Let's paste our new one here. And we need to go back to stable diffusion web UI, control C on the terminal to terminate the process and then just restart it. That's all there's to it. When you restart it, it'll detect that there's a new model. We're gonna take a look at that right there. And this is their web UI. Do a quick check up there to make sure the model is there. This is the default one, this is the new one. And let's go back to our web UI. Go to settings, images. It's already configured to use the V1 pruned, the default model, right? But we can now select the wildlife model here. So let's select that one and save. Awesome. Go back to your prompt and now we're gonna regenerate some of these images. So llama right here. I'm gonna click on generate image again. I guess that's better. What do you think? Let's do lion. It's too bad that it replaces the uh, the image there so we can't do a side by side. That's a much better lion, I'd say. <laughs> Let's see if Schwarzenegger is better. Now, the <laughs> model we downloaded is not humans. It's specifically for wildlife photography. I'm just curious to see what it will do with Schwarzenegger. It's probably not gonna work. Yeah, that's worse. That's way worse. Now, Civit does have a celebrity section and it has a specific Arnold Schwarzenegger section. All right, I gotta try it now. All right, let's do it. Come on, that's pretty lame. I mean, it looks more like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but that's definitely from Total Recall training data right there. Okay, it's better. For comparison, here's Mid Journey, who look like ultra realistic photographs of Arnold's second cousin, maybe. And here is Chad GPT, who uh, is definitely Arnold, but come on, Arnold was never that big. Hey, let me know if you like this video uh, by giving it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more things like this and other things tech related, subscribe to the channel. Thanks to the members. Uh, by the way, members do get extra videos and other things like polls and chats and live. And in this case, requesting certain videos, I made one. Now that you know how to do automatic 1111, check out this video for setting up Olama with web UI if you missed that. And I'll see you next time.